Hi, thanks for coming back. It's Matt here again with MyWebBro.com. And today I'm really happy to get into WordPress updates and maintenance with you. I want to go behind the scenes a little bit and demystify the WordPress updates and maintenance part of my job. So as a web developer, I'm oftentimes looking at a business owner and explaining to them this monthly process of bringing a WordPress site back up to date and sometimes you get the impression that that stuff is maybe unnecessary or that maybe it's not as much work as we say it is. So I want to show you exactly what we're talking about when we say your WordPress website needs a core update and oftentimes with a core update comes many plugin updates. So right here I'm at wordpress.org and you can see um, this is the page about WordPress uh, maintenance update 4.9.5. So in a previous video I talked about a WordPress update that had a bug that actually prevented your website from updating itself the next time an update came out. So that was a unique bug and that bug was fixed in 4.9.4 and so now we're talking about 4.9.5. So just to confuse everybody a little bit more, sometime in 2018 you can see here there's going to be a WordPress 5.0 core release and that's going to be awesome because as a developer we've been talking about WordPress 4.0 for so long that now it'll be cool to be talking about WordPress 5.0 in 2018 sometime. But don't be too alarmed. Um, we can see here that their timeline for the WordPress 5.0 development cycle is pretty much undetermined, right? So even, <laughs> even their kickoff meeting according to this here uh, is to be determined still, unless they just haven't updated this chart, which wouldn't be very much like WordPress. They they like to keep us updated. So sometime in 2018, we're going to get a dry run for release. That's going to be fun. 24-hour code freeze on that release, and then the target date uh, for re the release of WordPress 5.0 is still to be determined. So let's go back here and talk about this update. Um, in an update, an update comes out, and all of a sudden, you have developers like me, and I'm working for for dozens of small businesses with WordPress builds. Something breaks. I come to the WordPress.org website, and I create a ticket. And I say, hey, something's wrong with that WordPress, that last WordPress update. You know, this plugin with this function is broken, and we need to work on it. So we create a ticket, and web developers create hundreds of tickets probably and then they prioritize their 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 release um, updates so this is the core group of people right here that had some um, input as to this last update some input as to the changes that need to be made in this last update and right here is what we call a change log so right here from this point down on this page is where we see all the changes that were made to WordPress version 4.9.4 .4 to make it more stable so a lot of this is a lot of this is not interesting to most people but I want to show you some of the things that I found to be very interesting and I want you to see how many changes are involved in a monthly update so right away um, they're talking about three security issues what is a security issue with WordPress there are there are probably hundreds of thousands of people who just as a hobby enjoy hacking into a website the bigger the company the bigger the bragging rights or the prize the more of an adrenaline rush a hacker can get out of hacking a website so WordPress, while it's pretty secure, is still vulnerable to the best hackers in the world, of course. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, you have hackers that are actually trying to do things like steal identities, steal credit card numbers, um, and then you have people that hack websites to get into the hosts to use processing power to do things like mine cryptocurrency or um, process transactions um, on, a, on another level, you know, to use host computers for their processing power. These are all the different reasons why a website can get hacked and why it will slow down its functionality for your users who are using it for what they're supposed to be using it for. Or even worse, a breach can occur where somebody, somebody or a company or an organization loses 
um, all the privacy that we that we hold so dearly to uh, and and give to our donors and our and our supporters. So when a WordPress website um, is vulnerable, it needs to be updated. Three security issues were fixed, and we can see here as a developer, I kind of know what they're talking about. I would you know I wouldn't try to explain this to anyone, but they're basically some minor changes in the way that WordPress deals with security that makes it a little bit harder for the hackers to hack, at least for the next month until we do the next update and then the next update. And it's a cat and mouse game. So security is always the most important reason why a WordPress developer is coming to you and saying that I need to do some, I need to make some changes to your website this month. Um, building and test tools. So here's where it's kind of cool because I get to actually start showing you tickets. These are the tickets that were submitted to WordPress to the development team that actually that actually determines what priority we need to fix certain things. So right here, update prefix CSS properties and about.css. So this ticket right here, ticket number 43190, is the reason why this change occurs in, in WordPress update 4.9.5. So that's kind of cool. We get to see that stuff. Um, in the comments, um, uh, remove unnecessary already required attribute, uh, attribute for elements that have required attribute. This stuff here is very uninteresting on at its at its at the surface, but in the background, it can solve a core problem that's that's maybe hundreds of companies were struggling with this for the last thirty days, and now they're finally going to find some relief for that. Um, I thought what was kind of and I'm not going to spend really any more time on this. I just wanted to show you guys the change log for four point five point nine and explain what that means, but. One of the funny things, and I like to, I always think it's funny, I always think that things that are kind of funny are interesting, but here, right here, was um, where somebody submitted a ticket for the cheating. Uh, so in WordPress, this is funny because in WordPress, error message used to generate a, a page where it would say cheating, uh, and it would, and it, it was kind of cute, but it was also kind of funny because, you know, cheating is kind of like, is kind of like a negative way of saying that you messed up or that you clicked the wrong thing or that you're on a page too long. So, so I guess enough tickets were submitted about the cheating message. And let's open this up. This is kind of funny. One of the tickets, ticket 38332 says the cheating message insults and it needs changing. And he goes on to say, cheating is regarded as dishonest. Calling someone a cheat is hurtful if the accusation is not true. So, this WordPress developer went out of their time to submit a pretty lengthy ticket about how they don't like that for about that error page. And so WordPress went ahead and responded with uh, a very interesting change in this update that takes that insulting error message out of our uh, out of our workflow. So I just thought that was kind of interesting. It's right here, 38332 replacing cheating eh, with friendly error messages so anyway thanks you guys so much for coming back it was cool to be able to show you the wordpress.org uh, 4.9.5 change log and just dis discuss a little bit with you about why every single month we need to update your wordpress website if you get a chance go ahead and subscribe to my youtube channel check me out on facebook it's my web bro my website is mywebbro.com and i'll see you soon bye